Welcome to The Learning Curve, the show that takes you inside the Onslow County School System and highlights what makes our school community unique. Every month, we showcase our students, our teachers, and our staff celebrating their talents and achievements. So join us now for The Learning Curve. So today is the 2018 Elementary Math Counts competition. We do have only a local level for our elementary math counts, but it kind of mirrors what the students do for the middle school math counts. Today we have the sprint round, which is an individual task round where the students will work individually. They are not permitted to use calculators and they will have about 30 problems and about 40 minutes to complete those problems. And they range anywhere from solving simple multiplication tasks to going into some more in-depth problem solving. And then we also have the application round. Now this is a team task where they can work together and they're assigned two tasks where it really involves some deep level critical thinking where they have to work together to solve those problems and then present that in a manner that they can showcase themselves as a team. And then the third round will be our team round, which again, just as the name says, they work together as a team. They will have 20 questions and the calculators are permitted in this round and then they are able to work together to solve the problems on that round. And then finally, we have our ciphering round and students will have six questions each. So four rounds of six questions and they have to work against the clock and also for accuracy. So all of it is for accuracy and on the last round is definitely for speed. This will help to prepare them for their maybe competition days in middle school and will also help them to strengthen their math skills and to be able to shine and showcase their talents in math. My favorite part about Math Counts today has been the team round because all of us get to socialize and compare our answers to see which one is correct and which one isn't correct. I like working with other people like that because I work better as a team than as a singular student. I just like math for the fun of it. There's no ending to it. And you can also do so much things with it, like you can do rounding, number lines, graphic organizers with it. It's just fun. Math is one of those class subjects that's very challenging to students, and so to see students that define the love in math and the excitement, and that it can be competitive, it's just a joy to watch them do it, and and all, and the students learn so much from it along with teamwork, not just learning the concepts that they're working on in the classroom.
today is our leadership day. This is part of um, Franklin Covey's Leader in Me program. So today is our uh, effort to showcase our students' gifts and talents um, for our community and stakeholders and our guests uh, on campus. This leadership day is set up for our students to basically define for our guests what those seven habits are and how it impacts their life and then give students a chance to showcase their voice through a leadership showcase that our students did um, for our guests talking about how they lead in aspects that may not be in the classroom with clubs and activities, athletics and extracurriculars, giving them a chance to showcase those things. Uh, we also had a student-led tour where um, our guests were in and out of about 25 classrooms or spaces around the campus uh, and with greeters in each classroom that kind of defined what was going on in the classroom, either instructionally or how it relates to the seven habits. So I was actually outside the um, media center and I was doing the station called SAVE. It's a club where it's students against violence everywhere and our goal is to one day eventually to end violence everywhere. I think my favorite part was more about spreading the message, just getting everyone to realize that bullying is everywhere and it could be in the most uh, unexpected places. Onslow County School System has partnered with Woodman of the World for several years, actually since 1948, with the, the Civic Oriation Contest. And we choose the top two winners, so they have a school level competition, and it's the first and second place winners that attend the district level competition. This year, the focus was on inventions that have improved America. There is content, there is style and presentation, there is their, their public speaking ability. Is it clear? Can they portray their their thoughts and opinions about the topic. There are criteria about how the outline of the speech should go. A lot of the kids, they did a great job in bringing forth um, a topic that they were interested in as a great invention, but also as their, their personal beliefs. It does provide students with the opportunity to showcase their writing and public speaking ability. It also helps prepare them for college or for a career by allowing them to critically think about a topic and construct a work product that reflects their thoughts, feelings, and opinions. My teacher just made us practice it over and over and over and she would tell us, okay, slow down. You need you need to like use more hand gestures. You need to make it more like your like a story. I learned that if you keep doing it, if you just keep trying, then you'll achieve what you want to do. My favorite part of preparing for this speech was being able to kind of compare my ideas with my friends and saying them in front of them. I learned that if you dream about it or you think about doing something, you can achieve it and you can do it. I just liked making the audience laugh. My favorite part while I was doing my research for my speech was probably just all the facts that I learned. When I learned 
about the internet, one of my favorites th one of my favorite things was learning about communication and emails and how that helps to improve it by how fast it is to communicate with people. My favorite part about presenting was probably the writing process actually of making the speech and getting together with the coach and helping all that. Summersill Elementary School does Career Day every two years. It's a school-wide, whole-day event. Everybody gets involved. We have 27 different presentations from different careers. It gives the kids opportunities to see all different types of professions that um, they could potentially have as grown-ups. We have everyone from vet techs to motorcycle racing, tattoos, nurses, air traffic ground handler, um, they're really excited. A lot of the people bring hands-on um, manipulatives, things for them to look at. It's really just a really fun day. It gets the community involved, the parents involved, the students involved. It's a great day. As part of being a leader in me school, one of the requirements is that we do host a leadership day each year. Um, this is our second year as a leader in me school, our first leadership day. And so today the students have organized this event where they have broken our campus into seven areas. Um, the students led tour groups um, that showcase different practices of the seven habits throughout our building that they actually practice every day at Richlands Elementary. Through the seven habits, students are able to build their confidence level and certainly they're able to develop their leadership skills that they will need to be successful in middle school and beyond. That's all for this learning curve. If you'd like to learn more about the Onslow County School System, please visit our website. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook, or you can see this show and other programs about the Onslow County School System on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and join us again on the learning curve.